Let's start off with something very basic, a definition of combustion. Combustion is a rapid chemical oxidation reaction that takes place between fuel and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, heat, water, and visible light. Another common oxidation reaction occurs when iron or steel rusts. However, this is a slow oxidation reaction. You can think of combustion as very rapid rusting of fuel since the oxygen and fuel molecules combine very quickly when combustion occurs. Explosions occur when fuel and oxygen accumulate, combine or mix to the right proportions, and then are ignited all at once. The expansion and subsequent pressure pulse of the ignited fuel-air mixture happens in milliseconds. The pressure pulse depends on many things, but it's usually measured in relatively small units, such as a couple of pounds per square inch, and it usually lasts for a very short time, such as milliseconds. You may recall that force is defined as pressure multiplied by area. Small forces and large surface areas result in large forces. This means that explosions can destroy large structures, buildings, furnaces, ovens, with seemingly small forces even if they are applied for just milliseconds. The challenge for everyone involved with combustion equipment is to control all of this potential energy and use it in a way that is safe. The most basic way to think about combustion is in the context of the fire triangle. The fire triangle concept illustrates that when you combine fuel, heat, and oxygen, you produce combustion. There is also a concept called the fire tetrahedron, which adds the element of a chain reaction to the fire triangle. The chain reaction element represents the release of heat from the exothermic fire reaction that keeps the reaction sustainable and ongoing. We discuss this later in the course when we review burner designs and how the design of burners can support flame stability. When you remove any one of the three legs of the fire triangle, you stop combustion.